Welcome back to Wigs with Scarlet. Today I'm doing the wig review for one of John Renault's brand new styles. This is Clementine in the color Shaded Praline. If you've been eyeing this style or looking into this color, make sure to stay tuned. As always, please subscribe to my channel, hit that bell, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to check out the retailer sponsoring this wig, Pinky Promise. All their information is in the details. If you're interested in this one, stay tuned. It's coming right up. <music> All right, today we are talking all about Clementine, the new style from John Renault for spring 2024. It's important to note that these are regular synthetic fibers. They are not heat friendly. You can use a little bit of low heat in small bursts if you really need to, but make sure you're not using uh, severe heat on this particular style. Also make sure you like the style because it is not one that you can curl or uncurl because it is not heat friendly. This is a beautiful wig. It is a very classic sleek bob, as I said before. So let's take a look at Clementine from all sides. The front, the left, the back, the right, back to the front. Really cute and classic. So let's talk about the dimensions on Clementine. Clementine has an 11.5 inch layer here in the front that comes in just a little bit shorter than the rest. It is not, I would say, any kind of a bang. It's just a slightly shorter layer at 11.5 because the overall length of the wig uh, from the crown is 12.5. So it's just an inch shorter on that face framing layer. You have um, 8.75 on the sides. Your nape is 4.25, and this weighs 4.6 ounces. I would not say this is a particularly low density wig. I would not say it's super high density. I would go medium on the density. There is just a little bit of permatease back here in the west um, attaching to the crown, but I mean, it's a very small amount. There is not a lot of permatease, and with our higher end wigs, it's not like you're going to see any curly hairs poking out or anything like that. Just a little tiny bit. Mostly it is permatease free. Now this has a full monofilament top, so you can change the part into any direction you like. I kept it in the middle part because I will say that with these bobs, you do have to do a lot of training out of the face. So if you decide to go to the left or the right, you're really gonna have to work with the fibers with, with you know wetting them, pinning them back, adding some hairspray, and maybe like I said, just a little bit of small bursts of heat. I did a tutorial actually with Harper on how to use heat on a synthetic wig that is not heat friendly. So you might wanna check that out in my educational content. All right, let's take off the cap and look at the cap details. As I mentioned before, Clementine has a full monofilament part, so you can part her wherever you like. Just note that you have to do some training with the bob style. It has your smart lace front, which is temple to temple. It does not extend into the ear tabs. We have nice felt tip uh, ear tabs with metal stays. You have a felt extended nape with the Velcro adjusters and an open wefted cap. I will say that she, she this cap definitely fits average. There's a lot of stretch for a larger head. For a smaller head, you could cinch it in and make it work. So it's pretty versatile as far as fit. And she fits me pretty well, although I always struggle with the ear tabs being too low. But overall, she's fitting okay on me. Let's get up close and personal on the hairline. Noting that the knots are very small at the hairline and the lace blends right into your head so it looks really natural and phenomenal. You have that pre-plucked part, but with the darker root, there is some knotting, uh, visible knotting on that part. So you would probably wanna do some scar tape and some powder. I've done tutorials on that as well, but it is very well done and very pretty. So this color is shaded praline, not to be confused with shaded pralines and cream. This is shaded praline, and it is the uh, code 12FS8. Shaded praline has quite a long description. It says it is a medium natural gold blonde, a light gold blonde, a pale natural blonde blended evenly, and a shaded darker brown root. So I would say the description is apt. It is 
kind of overcast today. I'm not getting a ton of light, but uh, we're gonna do the best we can because there's days to film content, whether the light's out or uh, the light is uh, really working for me or not. Um, so we're gonna look at this color in front of my slider and outside, even though it's overcast, you still should get a much better idea of color looking at it in those different uh, lighting uh, scenarios. So let's take a look at shaded praline in more detail. Always get beautiful light in front of my slider, always, always, so you can really see, even on an overcast day, great light here. You can see those different um, blondes that are very evenly blended. So it's not like a chunky highlight at all. It's a very even blend. And I would say that this leans neutral to warm with just a touch of cool. Very pretty, and even though they say it's a dark root, I would definitely go medium. It's certainly not a garishly dark or super dark root. Again, it is a bit overcast, but you still get an idea for the color in natural light. Very pretty, definitely my kind of a blonde. This is a really classic style, and I think it's gonna fit a lot of different face shapes and be very popular. And keep in mind, this is a mid-length, so there's lots of styling options you can do. You can put little clips, like so, you can pull some of it back and pull some pieces out, noting that you don't have the lace all the way to the ear tabs. Um, but you can do a lot of, you could put a little headband in. So there's lots of cute styling options for these mid-lengths. Um, and again, you can move that part around as well. I hope you enjoyed this review of Clementine. Again, I'm gonna ask that you please subscribe to my channel, hit that bell for all the future wig content coming up. Give me a thumbs up, send me a message, I'd love to chat. Don't forget to check out our retailer in the details, Pinky Promise, and be sure to shop with them for all your future alternative hair needs, and I will see you at the next one.